From our Stars and Dogs segment, it's time for this week's Star. 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 It's a company called Ballard Power Systems, Inc., symbol BLDP on the TSX. Uh, currently trades around $6.70, market cap of $1.55 billion. Ballard shares are up 10% over this week, 20% over the last three months, and 104% year-to-date. So what does the company do? It calls itself a clean energy growth company. Ballard's main business is the design, development, manufacture, and sale and service of fuel cell products for a variety of applications. Geographically, Ballard has a presence in China, Europe, North America, and, and Europe, which generates the maximum amount of revenue. It's primarily from Europe right now. In the last nine months, the share price has been doing quite well. Uh, Fuel cell energy and electric mobility, the interest in this is growing. Or it appears, in our opinion, to have just come back into vogue once again. In the most recent quarter, however, if you look at the financials of this company, Ballard announced uh, just revenues were down 11%. Uh, to $23.7 million. And net income was a loss of $7 million compared to a loss of $4.3 million. Adjusted EBITDA was a loss of $5 million compared to a loss of just $800,000. So accelerated losses. There was some positive news announced in that quarter. Uh, the company announced a $44 million order from a the Yche Ballard joint venture in China. Uh, the backlog overall increased in the quarter uh, for up to 211.6 million from 188 million. The 12 month backlog, so the next 12 months going forward, is up to 126 million from 76 million in the same period last year. So, from our opinion here, though, the story is that this company just continues to lose money over time. In fact, if you look at the accumulated deficit of this company, it is over $1.2 billion. Ballard has always had promise of growth and future growth, but for its shareholders, it has produced very little over the long term. Uh, there, may be, uh, there may be some optimism in this sector once again. I think that's why you've seen the share price double over the course of this year, but until they can consistently produce cash flow, Ballard does not make our criteria and we, we'd be wary of the stock at these levels. Uh, it, the company hasn't proven it can actually make money over time, and it's not a story we want to be involved in at this stage.